Hey you guys, it's Kaylee. As you know, I absolutely love List Perfectly. Recently in a video, I mentioned that I was going to start listing on List Perfectly, and a lot of you were asking if I could document my journey and basically show you how I do that and what that process looks like, as well as any tips or tricks. So that's what this video is going to be about today. If you are new to reselling or you don't know what List Perfectly is, it's basically an extension, a tool that you can use as well as a website to cross post your items from one platform to another. Meaning that if you currently list on Poshmark and you wanna start selling on eBay, List Perfectly can move that information for you more efficiently than you can. It essentially pulls your pictures and extracts all the information from your current draft on one platform and then puts it into another one in seconds. I think most of you guys know what List Perfectly is if you watch my channel because, as you know, I absolutely love it. So I mention it a lot. Um, so I'm just going to cut right into it for anybody that's interested and wants to know how I transition from starting all of my listings on eBay to putting them now onto List Perfectly. So there's a couple reasons that I wanted to start listing on List Perfectly. Number one, it's really, really easy and it has a lot of... Um, better search functions than let's say Poshmark. I guess let me preface by saying this, currently I am on multiple platforms, but I'm mainly focusing on eBay and Poshmark. And so when something sells on eBay, I have to go to Poshmark to take it down. Or if something sells on Poshmark, I have to go to eBay to take that listing down. That way it doesn't sell on both platforms, if that makes sense. Sometimes this can actually be more difficult, especially when it comes to finding items on Poshmark. Poshmark has a drop down list of, you know, so many brands. And if that brand is not on there, then it's really hard to search and find it. They don't just have a search bar for your active listing so that you can find the one that you need to take it down. And so that was becoming a big headache for me. Another headache that I was having was if you're on eBay, you probably know that they have a ton of glitches. And one of those glitches, or I guess maybe not a glitch, but a hurdle in my business, is that when you create things on drafts, you only have so many days to leave them on drafts before the files become corrupted. Your pictures will basically delete themselves, no longer work or all the information that you put into the draft will not work. Like you go to click into resume draft and it basically says there was a problem. You've lost all of that information. So as I mentioned, I start everything on eBay. I do that because it is the platform that requires the most information. And therefore cross posting from eBay to other platforms is your best bet because again, you'll already have all that information there versus if you're like crossing from Poshmark over onto eBay, Poshmark requires a lot less information. And so when you move it over to eBay, you still have to fill in a ton for eBay versus if you cross post from eBay over onto Poshmark, most of the information is already there to complete the Poshmark listing. So that's why I originally started everything on eBay. Plus it was just the platform that I know the most about that I originally started on when I started reselling. And because of that, it was also where I hosted all of my inventory system. So I use the custom SKU in eBay to mark which bin I put my items in as well as my cost of goods and any other notes that I might need. So basically if I needed to find the SKU of something, I would have to go to eBay. They don't exactly have the easiest interface when it comes to doing like a total store inventory. So whenever I need to do a total store inventory, meaning go through all of my items to make sure that they're actually in the bins that I said that they were in or that they're even listed at all. It can be kind of a pain in the butt because you, you have to pull a spreadsheet or you have to use their search function, which doesn't always search properly. So I was hoping that there could be one place that had better search functions and an easier interface to do inventory. All of those headaches that I just talked about, List Perfectly actually solved all of those. List Perfectly also notates which platforms I cross list over to automatically, records basically the item number and where they're at on each platform to make delisting super easy. I'm gonna show you on my screen here in a moment some of the things that it can do, um, but that was my main reason for switching over. Originally when I used List Perfectly, I just used it to cross post, take information from eBay and send it over to Poshmark and other platforms, which by the way, 
it works really well just doing that. If you want to do that method, absolutely fine. It works great and saves a ton of time. But you can also list on list perfectly and then send it everywhere else. That way you have one spot where all of your drafts are hosted, easy search functions, easy way to tell which platform it's on, and you can also delist easily off of all the other platforms when an item sells. So those were my main reasons for testing out and switching over. I knew that you could list on list perfectly, but I had never tried it. And if you watched that most recent video, had a revelation. I actually tried it on camera for the first time. So you guys got to see my real reaction, but I was like, why have I not been doing this my entire life? I was so mad at myself for not trying this beforehand because it's going to save me so much time. So after you guys saw that, you asked if I could kind of show you how that worked and we are going to dive into it now. Guys, my screen record is really wonky and it takes forever, forever when I record like actually on my screen to get things running. So I'm actually just going to record on my phone and show you my screen. Okay, so this is the List Perfectly interface. I'm not gonna show you like everything it can do today, but if you're interested in any of those functions that I just talked about, you can let me know um, by putting something in the comments down below if you wanna learn how to delist, if you want to learn um, some of the search functions, stuff like that. It's all right here, but this video would get extremely long. I just want to show you how to move your items over from whatever platform you're on over onto list perfectly and guys it's so easy so a couple tips i have for you is when you are on my products this is how i got to this page products my products you can sort just like you can with ebay based on um these filters up here so if i wanted to sort sort by price highest to lowest or lowest to highest, I could click these little arrows right here. By default, it's going to sort by the last time it was updated. You can also sort by when it was created. For me, this is the easiest way to do it because this can get extremely confusing if you're not doing this at one time. I have over 3,000 items, so there is no way I was going to be able to do this in one day. And I will talk about, um, I'm still currently in the process of it, but I will talk about about how much time it took me to get these items over. So one thing I want to know is that you can sort by these. This makes it really easy for organizing. And then just want to make note of this number here. So it'll always show you how many you have in your My Products page. And then whether you're doing this from Poshmark or eBay, I'm just going to go to eBay and I'm going to my active listings. And so the easiest way for me to keep track of this, because as you can see, again, over 3000 listings, that's a lot, it takes forever. And again, I can't do it in one day. I say forever, it's, it's actually super fast, but there's no way I'm cross posting 3000 items in one day. First of all, I can't spend all day doing it. So I spread it out over a couple days. Again, I'll talk about that here in a second. But what I wanted to point out was just like on list perfectly, you see how you have all of these filters right here. So you can also filter by clicking these up here to sort. So I always sort mine by the start date. So these are the ones that I listed today. You can see yesterday. And then as you go down, it filters by the start date. I filter this way, that way there's no confusion and it is always, always, always in order and the order does not change. This is very important if you're gonna be doing this over the span of a couple of days. So I sorted by my start date. We started on, I can't even remember what day. Okay, we started on, the 18th, I made sure to write that down. Um, that way, anything that got listed after that date, I know is not put onto list perfectly and I will have to go back and do the most recent ones. So anything that we started on August 18th and after that date is needs cross post. I wanna make note of whatever day you start. So from that, I just basically worked my way down um, and cross-posted multiple items. 
Right now, we are working our way down basically backwards, and I think we're on page 13. So I'm gonna go to page 13. And again, that's kind of a moving target if you have stuff that you're listing um, while you're in this process because it's going to push those items down. As you make new ones, it'll push those down to the following page. You just want to kind of keep an idea of where you're at and which page you're on. So as I mentioned before, we sort by um, last time it was updated or create a date, whatever you want to do. So this is the last one. Whatever's at the top of this page, I always know is the last one that I moved over to list perfectly. And then I know that that is the one that I need to find because that was my stopping point. And then the next one will be my starting point on eBay or again, if you're listing on Poshmark, you can sort by, please load. If you're listing on Poshmark, you can sort by just in. And then you know, same thing. You can you can also filter to just available if you're worried about accidentally cross-posting something sold. But this way, it never changes the order. You always know that it's going to be in the same order. That way you can find your starting and your stopping spot. I hope that that makes sense. So, I need to find where we stopped. I believe we're on page 13, it might be 12. So let's look here. So I've got this North Face Men's gray stripe button up shirt. And what I do is I go to the page I think I'm on and I do a control F and then I basically just try to find that. So it looks like we're actually on page 12. You can see here, I've kind of got like, I just kept this page near me. I've got notes and I kind of just record as I'm going, just because I'm kind of a freak about it, I wanna make sure I don't lose my place. Okay, so here we are on page 12. Now I'm pretty sure we're towards the bottom. Yep. So again, you can control F and then you can search whatever it is you're looking for to get to where you need to be just to make things easier because right now I'm showing 200 items per page. So depending on how many you're showing, 200 is the max you can show. Um, you're definitely gonna wanna use control F to find things easier. So here is the last place that I stopped. Again, it's always in order when you sort this way. So that way you always know where you started and where you stopped. Right now I need to move these three items over. So anything below this, I know that I need to put onto list perfectly. So as I mentioned, I've got 3,000 something items. Currently we're at 2,325 moved over, hoping um, within the next couple days that we actually can get that number um, up to 3,000. Like I'd like to cross list, finish cross listing everything from there. So what I like to do is I like to write two, three, two, five. That is my um, active number on here. And then we are going to cross post. I, I should have grabbed more. We'll go ahead and cross these three over just so I can show you how quick it goes. And then I'm going to move on to page 13 and pretty much do um, the entire page. So right now, this is kind of how I do it. Again, this is more small scale. I usually cross post more over, but I know I'm going to be moving three over. So I just kind of keep track of that. So that way I know when it's done cross posting, I should have this many in my list perfectly active right here. And that just helps me to keep track to make sure that everything actually moved over. I have not had any issues with it not moving over, but again, guys, just in case, if something gets stopped up, if the internet stops working, if you know your tabs aren't opening, whatever, just so you know kind of where you're at. Um, again, I'm probably being too careful, but this is just me. I also like to write down so I'd be writing down page 12 right now so I know where I'm at. So 
here's where I stopped. I know I need to move down from there. And the way you do it is once your extension is in, you start selecting just like you would moving stuff over from another platform. You select as many as you want. If you click a bunch and you don't know the number to like keep track, it does show up here so you can see it says three items selected. And we are going to stop. And you're just going to click list perfectly. So don't click any other platform. You want to move them over to list perfectly. You can see three items selected and copy. Now, as you watch this open up, the great thing about this process is unlike cross posting from eBay to Poshmark, Poshmark to eBay or, you know, platform to platform, the great thing about this is it kind of runs in the background. So you actually don't need to do anything while this is running. So you can cross post. I'm usually grabbing 100 um, at a time, um, you know, a very nice rounded number. That way I can keep track on this pretty easily and not have to math so hard. Um, move 100 over at a time and just let it run in the background. So what you're going to notice it doing first is it is going to pull. You're going to see it like pull from whichever platform you're on. So it opened up a tab and was pulling from eBay. And then after it pulls all of those from eBay, then you're going to start to see this tab on list perfectly where you can see it's starting to move things over. Now, Again, this kind of runs in the background, which I did not know when I started, but I'm so happy that it does. So as it is running, you can see it just moves it on over. So here was that North Face. That was my stopping point. Here is the next one, which is Levi's. The next one will be Sundance. And then the next one will be the BCBG Max Azria top. And as you can see, as it starts making each list perfectly uh, listing, it's going to open up a new tab. So that's something to keep in mind. If you let something run in the background and you're doing, you know, 100 at a time, it's going to open up 100 tabs, which is quite a bit, right? So this process has completed. You can see I've got the Levi's moved over, the Sundance moved over, the BCBG moved over. So it'll make a new tab for each one. And you can see my number does match up. So 2328, 2328, and then I would move on to the next one. That's going to put us on page uh, 13. And again, you don't have to do this paper thing. This is just me keeping track, just to kind of double confirm that everything did move over. So that happened in the background. That was just three items very fast. You can click into other tabs, do whatever you need to do. It will not mess it up. What I like to do, because sometimes you're cross posting, we only cross posted three that time, but it can cross post, you know, like I said, sometimes I'm cross posting a hundred items over, it will open up a hundred tabs. So what I like to do, and I just learned this trick, is you can click onto a tab, you can hold shift and move along to whatever the last tab is that you wanna close, and it'll select all of them, and then you right click, and you hit close. Don't hit close other tabs because I've accidentally done that, but just close. Um, and it just, it makes it really easy instead of having to go back and click out of a hundred tabs. So that is how I move items over. Um, I am gonna quickly cross post like a hundred over and then I'll show you kind of how I close all those tabs. So I'm gonna refresh this page. So you can see I've got all three of those there in order. And one nice thing is when you cross post from eBay onto List Perfectly, it tracks and it knows that it's on eBay. And actually, if you click into this, it'll take you right to your item on eBay. As you cross post onto other platforms, which I'll talk about here in a moment, it will also track that. So if I cross posted from list perfectly onto Poshmark, it would track that going over and then make um, a Poshmark item here and it would know what item it was on Poshmark. We'll talk about that here in a moment. Right now I'm going to cross post um, 100 items over 
get that process started in the background so that I can show you kind of how it works. So I need to go to page 13 now. Okay, guys, once again, as you list stuff throughout the day, it's going to push your items down because we're list, um, because we're sorted by the start date. So something must have listed and pushed this into the next page. So you just need to go here. If you sort the same way that I do, know where your stopping point was, which is this. So I know that I need to cross post anything below that. So I am going to grab. And we currently have 23, 28. So we're going to have 24, 28. So that's the number I'm going to look for to make sure that cross posted over. So I'm going to hit stop. I've got my 100 items selected list perfectly. It kind of remembers the last thing you did, but just make sure that list perfectly is clicked, hit copy, and it will start that process all the way over. Cross listing those 100 items. Again, this does run in the background. So I'm gonna let that run while I work on some other things. I'm going to show you while that's running um, kind of my process for how I'm going to record which items are on Poshmark and which ones aren't. So as I mentioned, as you cross post onto other platforms, it will track and record the item number. So this is already cross posted onto Poshmark, but List Perfectly doesn't know that yet. So I will just show you guys for sake of showing you, you can click Posh, click Copy, make sure you're signed into Poshmark. And just like you would, you know, other places, you're just going to complete your listing. Again, I'm just showing you this. I would do a more complete listing, but just to get this over for you. So I can show you what it does. Okay, list. Okay, so I'm sort of by just in, you can see that this indeed did cross over. Going back to list perfectly, let's refresh the page. And you can see that it now knows that it's on Poshmark. If I click onto this, you can see that it does bring me to that listing. So. One thing I want to mention is with all of these platforms, it records, it creates essentially a new item number. And your item number in most cases is going to be here on your address bar. So this is actually the item number on Poshmark for the item I just created. I'm actually going to control C and copy that number. So this was um, this item number and that is how it records where they are on each platform. If you're cross posting from List Perfectly to another platform, the important thing to remember is, is that List Perfectly communicates when you cross post from it to other platforms, but these platforms do not communicate with List Perfectly unless you are cross posting from there to List Perfectly. So it doesn't automatically know that even though I've cross posted from eBay onto List Perfectly, it doesn't know that I actually already had this item on Poshmark unless I tell it so. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either delete your entire Poshmark closet and then cross post again over on so that it already knows, creating a new listing. There are benefits to that, I'll talk about in a second. Or you can go into your Poshmark closet, find the item, copy and paste that number that I just showed you on to your listing. I'll show you that in just a second to let it know where it's at. So two ways to do that. We'll talk more about that in a second. Okay, and you can see it's now tracking that new listing I just put in. Let's actually, again, because I already have this listing on there, but we created like a duplicate essentially. Let me show you how you delist off of here so that it automatically takes it off. Let me close out of the Poshmark tabs. 
Okay, so you just click this, you click which one you want to end the listing on, and then you click in listing. So I want to end the one that I just created on Poshmark because again, that is a false listing. I'm just doing it for the purpose of showing you, but I'll show you how to how to do list too. So I've clicked that, I've clicked in listing. Listing will be ended or removed on platforms. You hit okay. What it basically does is it searches that item number and then it goes in and deletes it. So you can see it opened up that tab, searched the item, found the item and deleted it. I don't know yet if you know how like sometimes when you go to delete things off of Poshmark, but they have offers that won't let you delete it. And then you have to change the size in order to delete it. I have not come across that yet to know um, if, if that's going to be an issue. I would imagine it probably would be. I don't think it, I think it would give you the same error, but you would already have that tab open in your item to be able to change the size and then edit and delete like you would normally. But that is how you delist. So then after we've delisted, we can refresh. And you can see that it's no longer on Poshmark. Again, just playing around showing you guys some of these functions. So if you wanted to go the other route, which is leaving all of your items on Poshmark that are currently on there, but then going back and telling it where they are, what you would need to do is essentially find the item. So here's Sundance. I'm pretty sure this is listed. Yeah, it is listed on Poshmark. So you would have to go into your item to edit it. You would scroll down to this and you can see it only knows that it was listed on eBay. Here's your eBay item number. For Poshmark, you would have to go find it. So I'm gonna find Sundance. Here's the item. I would have to click into it. Here's the item number we talked about before. I would have to control C, copy, and then paste that in there and click that so that it knows that it is on Poshmark and this is the item number and update. And you would have to do that for all of your items that are currently on Poshmark. And now you can see that it does know that it is on Poshmark. In fact, if we click this, it should take us to our Poshmark listing. Here it is. Okay, so that is how, that's how you do that. So. I'm not gonna go about it that way. I talked with um, Alex at List Perfectly and she basically, I asked if there was any other easier way to do it and she basically suggested to me, you can either do it this way I just showed you, which is going in and telling it where your item's at on Poshmark or delete all of your available listings in Poshmark and then relist them from the List Perfectly website. So I feel like some people might be asking, what is the benefit of doing it one way or the other? So I had to decide, am I gonna go into each LP listing and then copy and paste each Poshmark item number over to tell it that it's on Poshmark and what the item number is and then keep all of my likes, keep all of my offer, you know, all that stuff. Or am I going to go in and delete my entire Poshmark closet and then just cross post them over from List Perfectly? That way, List Perfectly automatically knows that it is on Poshmark and what the item number is. So, benefits to both. I would say, in my opinion, it is going to take less time, far less time, to just delete your entire closet and then re cross post. But you're going to lose all of your likes, any activity that you currently had on those listings. And then I'm sure because you do send offers out frequently that it is going to give you that error um, that you need to, you know, change the size and then delete it if there are any current offers. But a benefit of re cross posting items over as a fresh new listing is just that it's going to be a fresh new listing. And, you know, most platforms give you a boost when you are consistently listing or when you are putting new items on. 
Here's my opinion on the whole matter. When I was talking with the people at List Perfectly, um, they suggested doing it that way because it's just going to be easier deleting everything and then recross posting it over. They also mentioned, you know, instead of like bulk, bulk cross posting stuff over to that other platform, maybe to do it in chunks that way you don't overwhelm yourself and then you get the benefit of always having a new listing like every single day or every single week to really gain momentum on that platform for me i just kind of want to get it done and over with um so i'm probably going to cross post like the bulk of it over and then as they suggested if i wanted to do it that way you know, I have, you know, a little over 3000 items, maybe to do 2500 items in bulk over and then over the next like couple weeks, just gradually do the rest of them. It's really easy to keep track. That way I get that new item boost. Um, but then I feel, you know, less overwhelmed because there isn't so much to do. Here's my thoughts on it. So at first when I heard, you know, delete your entire Poshmark closet, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I, I can't do that about it. I was like, well, the items are already like they haven't sold, right? That's why they're on my Poshmark closet. So I guess there's no point in saving all of the likes if they haven't sold. I am just kind of like YOLO, delete the entire Poshmark closet, cross post them over, make it a fresh new listing, get some new eyes on it because again, it already wasn't selling. But that is just a personal decision that I made. I loved the suggestions from the people at List Perfectly to do it that way. I do think after, you know, mauling it over and taking some time that that is going to be the best way to go about it. So while I'm in this transitional phase, what I basically decided to do was, as you see, each day that I'm able to cross post items over, I bulk cross post I made sure to sort in a way that was always going to be in the same order that way I had a starting and stopping point all the time if you've constantly got a moving target it would be very difficult to keep track of you know what you moved over and what you didn't right now I'm in a transitional period where I'm moving all of my items on over uh, to list perfectly again most of the time I'm just bulk grabbing stuff and then letting it cross post in the background and doing other things and then besides all of that happening I am running business as usual like I would before doing this process I'm still you know shipping on eBay I'm still listing on eBay I'm still listing on or cross posting from eBay to Poshmark and then what I'm gonna do is once I've got everything on this list perfectly site that's when i'm gonna go back and delete everything on poshmark i'm gonna give it you know there's no point in deleting everything now because i want to wait until i get everything from ebay onto list perfectly so that i can then you know delete my entire closet and move everything over so it knows where those items are and i figured there was no point in deleting my poshmark closet until this process was finished until i had everything on here because you know the item, if I deleted everything now, the items could sell between now and the time that um, I need to, between now and the time that I get everything moved over. So I am going to make sure to get all of my items cross-posted from eBay or you know whatever your main platform is to list perfectly. And then I'm gonna go back, delete everything on Poshmark and then re-cross-post. As we've mentioned before, we work a week ahead of time. So everything that we are working on listings for now or drafts actually is not going to be live until the following week. With that in mind, there was also a transitional period from knowing when do I stop creating drafts on eBay and when do I start creating drafts on List Perfectly. I would say start as soon as you can. For us, it was really easy because again, we're working a week ahead of time. So we already had a batch that we were still listing in eBay. And then we transitioned the following batch ahead of time into List Perfectly. So right now my helpers, I say helpers and people are like, what are you talking about? Help, saying helpers is easier than independent contractors all the time. But my independent contractor, who is basically my VA, she is 
finishing the last batch that we do in eBay. And then starting tomorrow, she will actually be doing everything in List Perfectly. So this next batch I completely have in List Perfectly and it has been so much easier. I feel like this video is going to be extremely long, but I wanted to do it pretty in depth because I had so many questions when I started this and I wasn't sure that I did want to transition to doing this method until I actually got in there, saw the process and you know, played around with it. And that's what I wanted to show you today. In case you are on the fence, this is going to make my life so much easier. I'm not going to have to worry about eBay having glitches or, you know, drafts being in there too long, because again, we do work a week to sometimes weeks ahead of time on stuff. So sometimes drafts are sitting in there for longer, um, longer than I'd like. But again, we're working ahead. It's not like we're getting, um, stuff put in there and then just letting it sit not doing anything with it. This is going to solve that problem where eBay basically corrupts your drafts and then you have to go back and redo everything. It's got my inventory all in one place. I didn't even get the chance to show you guys that, but there's like search functions for literally everything. You can search everything. You can search a word and it'll pull it up in your title, your SKU, your notes, there's a spot for notes on here, and it's going to make inventory so much easier. It's also going to make it so much easier for me to know which platform is on which because it automatically tells me versus me having to type it in the custom SKU on eBay to tell myself what platforms are these listed on and then going into each platform to find the item and delete it. With List Perfectly, it's automatically delisting items for me, which I, it's going to save me so much time. I can easily find the items versus having to go into, again, certain platforms such as Poshmark do not have a search function. So when I need to go find an item, sometimes it's a lot harder than it should be to find that item and delete it. This was a lot of work to get here. And I am over the moon that we are about finished with this process and can start doing everything from list perfectly. And I really think it's going to cut time in half when it comes to listing. So if there are any tips that I can give you, it is to get in there and get started. Um, if you want to play around with it, you can jump in and kind of play around with your listings and cross posting into list perfectly without even affecting any of your listings on eBay, Poshmark or other platforms. And then you can just delete it um, off of list perfectly because again, it's not communicating to other platforms unless you tell it to. So you can kind of just play around with it, delete those listings out of there. If you're like, you know, just playing around with it and you just want to see how it works, get in there and play with it, especially if you already have a list perfectly subscription. And then I highly recommend that you do kind of keep track. It just feels so much better to know that I guess that you have like a safeguard where you can double confirm that everything is moving over. If you always sort by the way I told you in both List Perfectly and eBay or whatever platform you're moving over, if you always sort by newly listed or your listing date, then you'll always have everything in order. Highly recommend doing that. When I first started cross posting items over, I thought what I was going to have to do is put in the custom SKU that I had listed over to list perfectly, which would have taken a ton of time and been a really big headache. But when I sorted in this manner, I always know what my start and stop point is. And the last tip I have would be to really give yourself time. Don't become overwhelmed with it. When I did the calculations, um, I estimated that it took a little less than a minute, which was about 50 seconds per item. In mind, I have over 3000 items on my store. So for me, 50 seconds per item, let's just call it a minute is a lot of time. So I knew it was probably not going to get done in one day. My computer is a lot slower than Nikki's laptop. She has also been um, moving items over onto list perfectly. So hers actually does it a lot faster than 50 seconds. Depending on your internet speed, your processing speed on your computer, um, yours may be faster or slower than mine. But for me, I just did like a test run with a few items and just calculated about how much time it would take me. And I estimated with all of that, 
that it would take me about four total working days. So four like eight hour shifts essentially to get this done. Again, things are running in the background. So all you really need to do is keep an eye on when, you know, your your batch gets listed so you can start a new batch pretty efficiently. Um, but one tip I have is just to try and not sweat it. And again, get everything into list perfectly before you worry about everything else. I would, I would not do, you know, 20 in here and then putting 20, you know, item numbers from the other platforms in there. I would get everything into list perfectly and then worry about the rest of the process. Um, as we've been talking, my hundred <laughs> items have been cross posting over. It is still working on it, but I just really quickly wanted to show you that click shift and then closing those tabs. Um, all at once because that has been a huge help for me and a lot less um, overwhelming. So as we've been talking, as you guys can see, it has been moving all these items over. Again, I cross posted a hundred at a time. So these are all the ones that have been moved over. I'll just click into one so you can see. And then these ones that are still loading are the ones that are currently working. So, um, Currently, some of them have moved over. I'm just gonna click. You don't wanna click out of the ones that are working, but I'm just gonna click, hold shift, click, and you can see it selected all of these tabs. Then I'm gonna right click into one of those tabs and hit close. And you can see now we only have the tabs that are currently working. Um, I personally feel better about it if there's not you know, a ton of tabs open and I feel like it works faster if there's not all those tabs open, but just a little trick, click again, hold shift, click through all the tabs you want to close. Once they're selected, right click and then hit close. It'll close all of those tabs at once. I did not know that. I was just playing around with the computer and realized I could do that. It's such a simple concept, but it will save you so much time. I think those are pretty much all of my tips for list perfectly. Thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me. I hope that you guys take this journey soon. This is going to be crazy beneficial to my business. So much time wasted by not doing this in the first place. But again, I didn't know that all of these things were possible until I actually got in there and tried it and saw how easy it was. That is how I am transitioning from listing on eBay to listing in list perfectly. From here, all I need to do is hit that little cross post button and send it to whatever platforms that I want to list on, finish the listing and set it live. One thing that we're also doing is, you know, currently we schedule listings out. So we will probably still do that because again, list perfectly does not just list your item. It creates the draft. You still have to come complete any other information that's needed and you have to be the one to hit list. So I can actually still schedule listings in eBay. And I also just realized I could also schedule the drop feature in Poshmark. So that's going to be really nice. We can still schedule if we need to so that we can still do our um, daily bin system. I'll link that video above. That was really popular. If anybody would like to be more organized and making sure you're consistently listing. I think that about wraps it up. I'm going to keep moving items over today as I work on other things. And hopefully either by the end of today or maybe the end of tomorrow, we'll have everything cross posted onto this perfectly. And then maybe we'll make another video about how we're transitioning from that. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. If you're not already on list perfectly and you would like to be there are links down below I am an affiliate with them so if you sign up I do get a portion as commission essentially when you sign up for list perfectly there's also a coupon code right next to that link that will give you 30% off of your first month I also just learned I'm pretty sure if you're currently on list perfectly and you want to bump up your plan you can also use my code down below, it is Kaylee Elaine for 30% off of the first month you do in the new like upgraded plan. I just bumped up to the pro plan. I did that because um, since I'm going to be listing in list perfectly, I want that shipping information to move over into eBay. And that is um, one benefit of the pro plan. Also on the pro plan, they just announced the new feature where you can edit and remove the background 
of your pictures in the list perfectly platform um, but you can only do that with the pro plan currently and it basically uses photo room to edit your picture within list perfectly if you've got the pro plan so that is another reason that i wanted to bump up to the pro plan so if you're not on List Perfectly and you would like to be, again, link and coupon code down below. And then if you're currently on List Perfectly, I believe you can also use my code Kaylee Elaine for 30% off when you upgrade, when it's your first month upgrading to a bumped up plan. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I'm sure there are gonna be a ton of questions. Make sure to drop those down below. And again, I hope to be making more videos about my transition to listing on List Perfectly. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.